Hi, my name is Ben from Boyne RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of a walk around video of one of our pre-owned travel trailers. This is a used 2010 Dutchman 29 QGS. So it's going to have a quad bunkhouse in the back. Got our propane tanks up front. Hand crank right here for your tongue jack. Some nice pass-through storage here. It really is a clean unit. Very, very good condition. Do the best I can here to show you what we're working with. It's got a slide, narrow slide, but that's also nice because you can access everything. You know, decals peel a little bit, but really for 2010, decals are still pretty darn nice. Looks like you got a spray port here for a quick connect spray hose. You don't see that in all those older ones, uh, 2010. There's windows for your top bunk and your bottom bunk. It's a Dutchman Light Series. Crank down jacks here. See the underneath. Still really in good shape in a lot of ways. Not too much rust down there at all. Another neat feature on this one. So this is the quad bunk area here. So I got this door from the exterior, there's your closet. See there's two bunks on each side. Now this bunk, it doesn't just push up. They, it looks like they added these. You know, so you really get some nice storage space in here. You can get a marker that comes with it. And then this just comes right back down. Got the awning out as far as I can because we got a trailer next to it. You know, it's a little dirty, needs to be cleaned up, but I don't really see, you know, a couple little pinholes. Looks like it's starting to stretch in a couple spots. As you can kind of see, I'm trying to show you the best I can. You do have outdoor speakers. Well, the tires and wheels look like they're in real good shape. Uh, I still have some pretty good tread left on them. Depends where you're taking them, but. You know, it looks like you at least get a few more years out of them, if nothing else. You know, not no two, not any like real big rips or tears though, on that awning. So the other side of the pass through storage here. Try to show you a little bit more underneath here as well. Really in pretty darn good shape for a 2010. Nice big grab handle coming inside. Got some storage space right here when you get in. Got your radio, DVD, CD player right here. Bedroom, you do have enough room for a walk around right there. The bed does come up for storage as well. It's a nice feature to have. Lights above the bed. And a lot of times what we look for in these top corners is their water damage is it soft. That's a lot of times where you see it. And you know, we really did look through this as well as we could. We have not been able to find anything. The customer did not disclose anything like that. I'll show you this side too. Got the 148th flying over, so excuse as it gets a little noisy here. See right here, this is just some tape or some sealant from when they built the product. Just gonna close this door real quick for us. Actually, it's I got it held open, so I'll just move on. You got your table here. You know, for 2010 again, this is in pretty darn good shape. It really is. Your skylight, you know, no cracks there. Nice cabinetry. Really nice big sink. Double sink makes it easier for washing dishes. We will clean this up more before it goes. Here's your stove top. A little oven. But you know, get the job done for you anyways. Your microwave. Over here, you know, a little bit of a pantry type setup. Nice and deep. Goes way back in there. Fridge freezer combo. Fridge definitely needs to be cleaned out. 
as does the freezer, but that is something that we will do before it goes. Back here you have nice big closet hanging storage space. You know, the mattresses, it depends. I mean, these two mattresses over here, you know, are pretty much flat. Probably need to replace something in there. We could always just use sleeping bags and things. Now this mattress here feels pretty darn good. So does this one. They must have replaced those because they do feel good. Fuse box right here. You know, again, no signs that I can see of water damage. I am doing some further research to check. Now you have a curtain to close off. So you have a separated bunk room area. And as I walk through, I mean, the slide when it's in, you're not gonna block the fridge. You can still get into the main bedroom. A lot of nice features in that sense too. Even give you some slide lubricant. Comes with it. TV right here. This TV does switch and flip to the other side as well. Your AC unit up top. Got a drawer below for storage on this side. Looks like that was maybe added. Because they're not the greatest sliders on it. But it does work. And there's no damage with it. Really overall, pretty darn good unit. Get you in the bathroom here. You do have this tub shower combo since it's a quad bunk. Oh, looks like the fan needs to be cleaned a little bit, that vent. But it does look like it's functional as far as I can see. And I mean, as far as we've used it so far, I mean, it's we haven't had any issues with it. Bathroom space, I mean, not a ton, but it is a camper. You know, get the job done anyways. Just kind of trying to pan for you as much as I can. Show you how it looks. Flooring, I mean, I don't see any rips, tears, anything like that. Looks like the floor is in pretty darn good shape overall. If you have further questions, I mean, if there's anything I missed, let me know. I'd be more than happy to do another video or do some more pictures. Again, my name is Ben from Bullion RV. If you have any questions at all, please give me a call. Shoot me a text at 507-402-2254. Thank you.